More people, especially the working poor, are turning to consumer credit for structural reasons and policy-related reasons. Structurally, one of the key aspects uh, that defines capitalism today, neoliberalism, is the dominance of speculative profit over productive profit. And this has led to many detrimental aspects in the so-called real economy. Uh, one of which is frequent and deep crises, which have been followed by austerity programs, loss of jobs, uh, higher food and fuel prices, etc. Another issue is the retrenchment of the neoliberal state, and by which I mean that um, housing, social welfare, education has become increasingly commodified, privatized, and incredibly uh, expensive. The dominance of speculative capital has also meant that high-paying, pay, high high-skilled jobs are not on the rise. In fact, what's in, on the rise are low-skilled, low-paying jobs. Walmart, for example, is the largest employer in the United States. So those are the structural issues. In terms of the policy-related issues, um, specifically, we've seen a promotion of consumer credit, uh, expensive consumer credit, deregulated consumer credit, such as payday loans, um, uh, the private uh, student loan industry in the United States. Uh, we've seen credit cards, for example, being uh, in the United States being offered to illegal Mexican migrants, for example. So there's an expansion. There's, there's a lot of uh, speculative profit that could be made from the expansion of consumer credit. Debt fair state is a concept I developed in my recent book, Debt fair states in the poverty industry. Debt fairism uh, captures a new form of neoliberal governance that uh, targets the reliance of the working poor on consumer credit as opposed to the state for social welfare programs, for example, education, health. So. What debt fairism does, essentially, is it um, manages this dependency, the mediation, it mediates this dependency and manages this dependency. Immediate steps that we can take to alleviate the oppression of this, this very expensive consumer credit uh, for the working poor are threefold. First and foremost, we must guarantee living wages. Second of all, we must define what predatory lending means and give it legal mandatory backing for transgressions. And third, we need to cap interest rates.